Some interesting facts about second coming of Jesus, the prophet of Islam. Allah will send him from his station at second heaven. Jesus or Asa alayhi salam, the prophet of Allah, was not killed by Jews and Romans. Allah saved him. If he had died on the cross, once dead cannot return to earth for second life. Allah will raise all only on the day of resurrection and for the day of judgment. Mother Maryam knew that her son was not killed on the cross. Allah left these enemies to reveal and celebrate in their ignorance of truth, after executing some person by mistaken identity, while Jesus was secretly lifted by Allah's command to second heaven. They were blind to truth of Allah, so they refused to accept what had really happened. His dissension in Damascus city. He will first land on the white minaret of a masjid or mosque in the eastern part of Syrian capital city of Damascus. Two angels of Allah Almighty will help him do this. It will be time for Asr namaz or the third mandatory namaz of the day for Muslims usually Asr Salah time is around 4 p.m. in the Middle East. Muslim worshippers there welcome him and arrange a ladder for him to get down. He will speak in Arabic to bring him the ladder. He will not land in Vatican or Rome. Because he is the true prophet of Allah, Allah will send him as the follower of final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He will enter the mosque or masjid now and meet the imam or the promised leader of global Muslims, Sayyidina Imam Mahdi or Mehdi alayhi salam. Imam offers the prayer leadership to Asa or Jesus but Jesus politely declines this offer. Jesus prays Asr prayer behind the imam Mehdi. As being the follower of final prophet Muhammad now, as no more prophets will come after the final prophet Muhammad. After namaz or salah, the gate of the masjid will be opened. Dajjal or Antichrist, the leader and the false messiah of Jewish people will be waiting there outside for Jesus. But he is a catch for Jesus. Today Allah has appointed for him to be chased by Jesus as the follower of Allah's final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Jesus will not fail. This is the part of his mission given by Almighty Allah. He must fulfill his task of second coming. First one is this. He will chase this enemy of Allah and all humanity, the one-eyed ugly young man, Dajjal whom Jewish people considered as their savior. He will see that Dajjal is no more. Because of their treachery to Allah and his prophets, Jesus and Muhammad, Allah offered Jewish people, this false prophet and false god, the one-eyed liar and magician, the Dajjal. At a place called Lud in occupied Palestine near Tel Aviv city now, Jesus will catch hold of him. Allah provided a small knife for Jesus in this mission to finish Dajjal off forever. Jesus will catch hold of Dajjal's head and declare to the world the end of this greatest menace and trial by God Almighty Allah. Jesus will confirm to all that this guy misled the world and he was neither a prophet of God nor was a god. Jesus will invite all the Christians and other people to Islam. The declaration by him to all people is either accept Islam or fight against him and there is no survival for such people. Because Allah has given power and authority to Jesus on the global level, they will accept Islam. The world will be united under the one banner of Islam and people will have no animosity and hatred in their hearts against each other. They will spend time enjoying their life without worries of money and wars, losses etc. Because in this era of Jesus, Allah will open up gates of blessings for humanity. They will be more included to do Allah's worship by visiting the mosques and masjids. There will be happiest time for all the families around the world. Jesus and his army will take care of Jewish army of the Dajjal. There will be total end for them. Wherever these enemies of Jesus, Almighty Allah, Islam and Muslims, hide, they will be exposed and their cruelty will be put to an end. Even a stone will call out to a Muslim soldier there to come and catch this Jewish enemy of Allah hiding behind it. The Muslim army will do the rest. This way, the end of Jewish power will be completed by Jesus and his Muslim army. Jesus will distribute wealth and establish the true kingdom of God Almighty Allah. Jesus will rule according to the Holy Quran and Sunnah or the noble ways of life practiced earlier by final prophet Muhammad. Allah has made final prophet Muhammad as the leader of all prophets sent by him. They were more than 100,000 sent by Allah on different lands of the earth to guide people to Islam and get salvation on the day of judgment. He will kill the pig to symbolize it is made haram to eat, by Allah in the Holy Quran. He will destroy the symbol of cross as it has nothing to do with Allah, Jesus and Islam. He will marry. He will rule for 40 years. People will not fight, nor wage war during his rule. People during his time will all be Muslims from east to west. After his death, 
burial of his dead body will be done at the already selected and reserved place next to final prophet Muhammad's grave in the city of Medina, the second holy place for Muslims. After his rule, Allah has arranged the rule of Muslims by way of twelve caliphs or Islamic caliphs. They are all from the Arabian Quraysh clan. After this time will pass rapidly. As per Allah's plan, world is now moving closer to the end. Satan will come in human shape and tell people to do such and such bad acts. Thus people will be leaving Islam and will live like birds without any rules. They will start doing all kinds of evil acts. Finally there will be a ratio of 50 women to one man. The end of the world will happen when there will remain no Muslims nor the Holy Quran. People don't greetings now with Assalamu Alaikum because end if the world will not come if people keep greetings with this greeting of the heaven, the angels of Allah and all the believers of Islam. May Allah save us from his punishment and keep us on his heavenly path of Islam. May Allah give us heavenly home and save us from hell fire. Amin. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.